everybody. Remember the Pascal's triangle that we did last week? I would like for you to pause the video, go and grab your Pascal's triangle that you did if you can, if it's not too big and it wasn't something that you drew in chalk in your driveway and bring it back because I wanna show you some of the patterns that we could find in Pascal's triangle. Look at this girl just lounging in the window. Hi, Olive. You shaking your tail at me? Phoebe loves to sit here on our record player. She likes to be up high where she can see everything. So the first thing I want to show you with Pascal's triangle are the patterns with the diagonals. So these are the diagonal rows going, they're slanting to the side. So this is our ones diagonal, but here we have our counting numbers diagonal. So we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all going up by how much? One. One plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four, and so on. Here we have our triangular numbers. So we have one plus two is three, three plus three is six, six plus four is 10, 10 plus five is five, five plus six is 21, and so on. So every time we we're adding on to a new square, we're adding a number higher. And then this diagonal is called the tetrahedral numbers, but if you're um, really interested in knowing what that is, I'm gonna let you research that on your own. Another interesting thing is that this triangle is symmetrical. So if I draw a line down the middle, that line can is like a mirror. If we pretend it's a mirror. This side looks the same as this side. Call that symmetrical. There's also horizontal patterns. So here we have one. Oh, let me use a different marker. One. One plus one is two. One plus two plus one is four. One plus three plus three plus one is eight. The next one equals 16. This equals 32. 64. And 128. So what is one plus one? Two. What is two plus two? Four. What is four plus four? Eight. Eight plus eight is 16. Do you see the pattern? So every time we go down a row, it doubles. The next pattern we can talk about is the exponents of 11. So some of you have had lessons on squaring and exponents. So if we have four squared, we know that represents a square that's made up of four on each side. And we know that means four times four. That's what that two represents, that we're multiplying four twice, and that would equal 16. So this is the exponent right here. But there can be exponents that aren't just two. So if we had four to the third power, that means four times four times four. That'd be four times four is 16 times four again. So we could have any sort of exponent. So we have exponents of 11 on our horizontal rows. So 11 to the zero power, anything to the zero power is one. 11 to the first power 
So that's just 11. And then 11 to the second power means we're multiplying 11 by it to itself. So 11 times 11 is 121. 11 cubed, 11 to the third power is 130, 1,331. So 1,331. 11 to the fourth power is 14,000. 641. So this is where it gets kind of tricky because now we have two digits. So 11 to the fifth power. Let's just write out what it says here. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. We're actually just going to add this 1. Over. So 1 plus 5 is... Six and one plus zero is one, and now we've found what eleven to the fifth power is. So I wonder if you can find out what eleven to the sixth power is and eleven to the seventh power is. If there's two digits, you're going to add the the digit in the tens place to the next square, just like we do when we're exchanging when we're adding. If we pretend this is Units, tens, hundreds. If we have ten hundreds, that actually is one thousand. We're gonna take that tens place and give it to the next house, the next place value. And then this one is really, really, really cool. So we can find the squares of numbers. So for the second diagonal, if you look here, this is the first diagonal, this is our second diagonal. The square of a number is equal to the sum. Sum means when you add two things together and you get the answer. The square of the number is equal to the sum of the numbers next to it and below both of those. So, three, let's try the three right here. Three squared. Well, we know it's going to equal nine. Three times three is nine. So, if we look next to it, that's three. We look diagonally below it. That's six. Three plus six equals nine. Let's see if it works here. Four squared. Four times four is 16. So next to the four is a six. And diagonal from the four is a 10. Six plus 10 is 16. Let's try five squared. We know five times five is 25. So next to it is a 10, and diagonal below it is 15. 10 plus 15 is 25. So you can keep looking for those patterns, try out some of them on your own. If you've gone even further down below the triangle, you can see if they still work, if those patterns still continue. And there's one more thing that I want to show you. First, a quick lesson or refresher on odd and even numbers. So an odd number is a number that cannot be shared to two friends. And an even number is a number that can be shared equally to two friends. So if I have one colored pencil, I can't share this colored pencil to two friends. If I have two colored pencils, I can share one to one friend and one to the other friend. If I have three colored pencils, I can share one to one friend and one to the other friend, but I still have one left over. So I can't share three equally. If I have four color pencils, I can share two to one friend and two to the other. What about five? Yep. It's odd because I can't share it equally. One friend gets two and another friend gets two, but if I give this friend this extra one, then this friend doesn't have three. So odd and even, that's what odd and even numbers mean. And the trick is that every other number is even and every other number is odd. 
or numbers that end in zero, like 10, 20, 30, or numbers that end in two, four, six, or eight. Those are all going to be even. That's the trick. So let's go back to our Pascal's triangle. If we color all of the odd numbers, So we know all the ones are odd. Okay. Two is even, so we don't wanna color that one in. Three is odd. We can't share three evenly to two friends. Four is even. We can share two to one friend and two to the other. Six is even. We can share three to one friend and three to the other. And four is even. Five is not even. Six is even, because it's even up here. 15 is not even, it's odd. Seven's odd. 21 is odd. 35 is odd. All these are odd below. Now, if you've made a bigger Pascal's triangle, or if you haven't made a bigger Pascal's triangle and you want to, to do this activity, you can make a bigger Pascal's triangle, keep going with coloring in all the odd numbers and you're gonna find that it makes a really, really cool pattern. It's, it's actually called the Sierpinski triangle. I love to see it and I hope that you enjoy this. Even if you don't do the activity, it's just fun to see the patterns and I'll see you next time. Bye.